Hello, hello, beautiful soul. I am so excited to welcome you on another short episode of Unapologetically Abundant Podcast. I'm your host, Petia Kolibova, and what a deep gratitude I am feeling in my body, in my heart, in my soul when I am hearing from you on my DMs or on my emails when you share with me like, oh, my Reiki instructor told me about you. My coach told me about you. My friend told me about your podcast. <clears throat> I just, I'm like choking myself here with the gratitude because I feel so much love for life and you and what I was able to co-create with you because you get to remember if you're not listening, if you're not here, if my clients are not working with me, I am not going to be me. So you by listening, tuning in, some of you working with me, either on my, you know, group coaching programs or my one-on-one you are the center of my heart, really. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I want to talk about love. So I feel like this was such a, a beautiful start of that. I want to be talking about how to be aligning with love. Because you see, when we were growing up, we were, be, we were fed with a fairy tales. Like, you get to be a beautiful and gentle and soft and calm and just shut up. <laughs> Don't get in any troubles. And you got to wait for your Prince Charming to come save you and protect you and provide for you. And we so disconnect with our own power that when we are then growing up, we're getting all confused because we are looking at our mothers who are not fulfilled, who are maybe, you know, soft and who are maybe like trying their best and they are not fulfilled. Or you look at your grandparents or aunt and uncle, you look at school and you are just like asking yourself, like, where is the love? Like if love conquers all, where is the love? And when we are in teenager and we become women, we start to live in a world that it's pushing us to fit a certain mold, certain body, certain job descriptions. We are this superwoman who is taking care of the house, taking care of our body, taking care of the family, friends, job, you know, employees, if we have our own job. And then we are feeling that something is missing. Our heart is aching because we know there is more. And sometimes we just stay in that, you know, energy of just pushing instead of like letting our vision pull us towards love, pull us towards what is in our highest good. And yes, the key and the center of it all is love, but not the love that we were told in, you know, in, in our families and the movies. And maybe you do have a beautiful example of what love can look like in your family. And if you do cherish it, but many of us are here and we are asking ourselves, like, is that it? Can there be a deeper connection? Can there be a fairy tale for me? Is there a one person that I can be with and be myself and feeling supported and loved and cherished and adored in all dimensions and aspects of me? Whether you are in relationship right now and you're wondering like, hmm, I wonder how this can get even better. I wonder how can I deepen my relationship with my partner, our connection, our communication, or whether you are on path of creating that love in your life. You get to really look at the old patterns. What were you believing? What were you seeing? What were you feeling when you were growing up about love? Does it still resonate with you? Is that still truth? And I was the one who was, you know, going through toxic relationship, losing myself because I would do anything and everything just to be loved and always being available, you know, for my partners and um, really lose a touch with what real love is how love feels and looks like in our body and in our heart. And we get so disappointed and so hurt that we just build the walls so thick and so high that we don't allow ourselves to be seen and we don't allow ourselves to feel really deeply. And sometimes we are in relationships, we are feeling like, am I outgrowing it? Can, can this be better? Can this go deeper? So. I have the same feeling and, you know, I'm just so thankful for 
releasing that resistance that I was feeling, releasing that pushing. And, you know, based on my mentor suggestion, my spiritual mentor suggestion, just surrender, really surrender and allow life flow through me. And when I woke up this morning after our call yesterday, I went to the gym, I did my breath work, and I was so inspired by the love that I was feeling and all the downloads that I was getting that I have created a four week program, group coaching program starting on April 4. So four weeks program, four, 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 <laughs> and is happening because of the love that I feel in my life for myself and in my relationship. Because I truly believe that when we are in love with life, ourselves and our partners or calling in our partners, everything else becomes easier. So in this four week coaching program, I'm teaching you how to align with love. It's a beautiful online course that you are going to be taking for four weeks. You also have a Facebook group community support of like-minded sister who sign up for the same program. And we also have two live coaching calls with me. So this is where my heart is. This is what really excites me. I created this for women who want to deepen their relationship with their partners, deeper connection, deeper communication, deeper satisfaction, more pleasure, more joy. And also for the women who are calling in the love, who are calling in the partner who is going to be a heaven years for walking this journey with them. I'm going to share the link with you so you can see and feel into it. If this is a have and yes for you, I would love to have you there because the more love we can create, the more we can shift this world and the more satisfaction, peace, success, and pleasure we are going to feel in our lives. Remember, you deserve it. It doesn't matter where you are right now with your heart. Your heart gets to be open. So to learn more about this beautiful, unique program that I just downloaded this morning into my heart, I'm going to share the link with you in the show notes. And remember, I love you, I see you, and I receive you.